Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And today we are reviewing a Barbie signature doll with you guys. It's been a while. Yeah, the last one was quite a while ago. But this is actually only the second Barbie doll in this series. Um, this is a doll from the Mythical Muse fantasy series. And we actually reviewed the first doll in this series the Mythical Muse Unicorn Goddess. So this one that we have here today is the Barbie Mermaid Enchantress doll. And she is part of the gold label collection of Barbie signature dolls. She is designed by the designer Amy Lee. She is priced at $75, the same cost of the Unicorn Signature Barbie. Um, and if you watched that review, which by the way, if you have not watched that review, I will link it in the description below. Um, her packaging is exactly the same, uh, minus the new artwork, of course, uh, or the new glam shot of the doll. So we have simple white matte cardboard with a nice lovely shot of the Mermaid Enchantress doll on the front with the Barbie logo, Barbie signature logo on the bottom. And nothing much going on on the sides. We have this sleeve which we will remove in just a moment. So on the back of the box, we have a brief little blurb about the enchanting Mythical Muse series um, and the mermaid enchantress herself. You know, you have just a little bit, of course, brief description of what to expect from the doll and it does also indicate that there are no more than 20,000 worldwide, you know. The wording is very I mean, special, like no yeah. more than you know, 200, like, like, it seems like they're not sure how many, yeah. like, there's <laughs> no more than this amount, I swear. Yeah, so it's like, it feels like it's not really limited count, it's maybe, there's a cap to how many they're gonna produce, but um, maybe what they do for these is they base the production on the demand. Honestly, I have, maybe Barbie can do that, and I don't know, no idea, but, yeah. You know, we just have the rest of the stuff down here. So let's go ahead and take off her sleeve. All right, this is Mermaid Girl without her sleeve. Um, I love it, like the inside packaging. I love that kind of like, like teal color. It really makes her pop. So yeah, with you know, with Barbie signature dolls, um, you know, if you are not already aware, uh, they are catered to adult collectors. So they're definitely. You know, the packaging is designed in a way that you can totally just, you know, have these as a display piece in your home. You don't have to unbox them. A lot of Barbie collectors do not unbox them, but we are going to unbox ours today. So let's go ahead and take all of these sleeves out, which, so yeah, there is another um, like plastic encasing here. So you just pull that out and then we're gonna go ahead and snip out our mermaid. All right, so here is Mermaid Enchantress Barbie out of box. She has a very loud and very glowy gold hairpiece on the very top of her head, and it definitely screams, you know, aquatic fantasy for sure. There is a collection of what looks like coral and seashells and you know, like little pearl pieces. Um, it's very lovely, but it's all, you know, salad color. It is essentially just all a chrome gold, and it is on top of her cascading hair, which is um, mostly a combination of a very light, you know... It's got pinky lavender. It, yeah, it's... So her hair colors are interesting. It's like a pinkish lavender um, meshed with white. Um, yeah, and for some reason, I think uh, her left side, there's like a long streak of white that's not in, like incorporated in the rest of her hair. So it's almost like a, she's rogue. Yeah. yeah. 
And for her makeup, um, so, you know, any of you Barbie experts out there, um, the fi this is not an, ori an original face sculpt. Uh, it is the Claudette face sculpt. We're not super educated in the world of Barbie here on Toy Chat, so um, I did a little bit of research, and yeah, there was a Claudette Gordon doll a little while back. Um, and yes, so she is sporting the Claudette face sculpt. And so she has very arched brown eyebrows and she has some really cute makeup. Um, her eyeshadow, it is a golden yellow on the inner corner of her eyes. And there is a blue beyond that. And then it is all kind of smoked out into a light pink on either end. And she has very large pouty lips um, that are drawn over with a nice sugar pink lipstick. And her earrings are, you know, the dangliest earrings I have ever seen on a Barbie. They are so dangly. Um, so they are cute little, what, almost, oh, they kind of remind me of fish hooks on the top. And there are cute little clam pieces hanging down and all once again in the chrome gold to match her hair piece. So moving on to her outfit, she is wearing a cute little fabric bodice with some lovely little light pink sleeves up here, um, very soft. For the rest of her little fabric bodice, there is a little sprinkling of pink and gold shimmer beneath um, her breastplate, which is really pretty, you know, very classic mermaid. Um, and it's not quite the exact same color as her hairpiece and her belt. Um, it's much, it's like a rosy gold. Um, it gives off shades of pink from different angles. As you can see, she has, uh, she's much more articulated than her, you know, the unicorn girl that came before her. Um, you can bend her elbows, you can bend her wrists. Her shoulders. Yeah. Um, and she is also wearing a lovely golden coral belt, um, which I like a lot. I like that it matches the headpiece and um, I think it complements the rest of her mermaid aesthetic nicely. So finally, for the bottom of her mermaid tail bodysuit, um, there is a series of sequins down her legs. It's kind of like a, you know, a mishmash of white, blue, and pink. I definitely like the color combination, but there was another Barbie Signature Mermaid they released in 2012 that had layered sequins. Um, if you watched our review of um, Beyond This Planet Violaine from Integrity Toys, you know, I think that layered sequin look is much prettier, um, and I think it gives off more of the iridescence and texture of scales, more so than this, like, just glued on top of each other sequins. Um, so this here is actually probably my least favorite part of her whole aesthetic, but um, the bottom of the fin is cute, um, although I do also think the, the older mermaid signature Barbie um, had a bit of a better fin as well, but you know, this one has um, some simple tool-esque fabric pieces on the bottom. There is a pink one and a minty blue one beneath on either side, and that is her fin, bottom of the mermaid fin. And as you can see, she also comes with um, a stand. It's a pretty nice stand, you know, it's just the usual Barbie signature stand. It's, you know, some hard white plastic. And of course she has to have a very tall stand because she is a mermaid. One final note, by the way, if you feel inside her bodysuit. It's very similar with some of the collector mermaids that we've seen in the past, like, um, not even collector mermaids, like I'd like, um, some of the Ariel dolls from Disney mm -hmm. also have like actual legs inside of a um, of the this cloth um, tail. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. Like it's different from the other the unicorn girl who has um, legs but aren't articulated. These legs are actually articulated at the knees. Yeah. So it is really cool. You can bend her at the knees, but the one thing that I'm feeling... she doesn't have ankles now. Well, but, it's one of cool things yeah. that you can redress her if you want. Yeah, so if you, so yeah, so if you'd like, it definitely seems like you can just remove um, the mermaid tail bodysuit, which, um, by the way, this whole thing, 
it's one piece. <laughs> it's one piece and it is all tied together with Velcro, so. Lovely. So the Velcro stops here and then the rest you have to just like pull it down. But yeah, you know, definitely feels like, you know, she's got those legs for sure. So you can redress her if you'd like. All right, and of course she does also come with a certificate of authenticity. Ours came wrinkly. Yeah, it's, it's a little flimsy, but you know. All right, so here are our final thoughts on the Mermaid Enchantress Barbie signature doll. For $70. 75. You, um, sorry. <laughs> for $75 plus shipping and handling, because uh, uh, Max bought this on uh, Barbie.com. The it, Barbie Mattel shop online, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's it's pretty pricey. I mean, it is a pretty doll. Um, I don't know, it's kind of strange to me that I feel like she's missing a lot of pieces for $75. Um, I've seen some of the other $75 like uh, signature lines, and I think they're a bit more detailed. Uh, I do like the color scheme of this mermaid. Um, I love pink and blue. I love like the pastel coloring, but I think she's kind of underwhelming compared to some of the other mermaid dolls out there. Um, even like previously, the one that we mentioned earlier, I think that one's far more superior. And that one comes with a little like like a rock she can sit on. She had yeah, she had like a, I mean, granted, she came out in 2012. I have no idea what her what her original price was, mm -hmm. but um, it was yeah, it was Barbie signature doll. Um, and yeah, she had this backdrop. There was like it looked like there was like wave a piece of waves and like a little mm -hmm. clam coral thing for her to sit on. Yeah. Yeah. So I think like. The idea is there, and I think I love her lavender hair. I love lavender hair, and I like I even like some of the sequins that's in her hair. Um, but I think she's she's a, like I, when we saw like the promo pictures of her, like the leaked promo pictures, like oh my god, it's like a like a like a pastel mermaid. Like we love that, but in person she's still lovely. But I still think she's still underwhelming to me. Um, her sequins um, looks really great on camera. Um, but in person, uh, they're okay. Like, you would think, like me personally, you would, I, I would appreciate it more if it was like type of sequence that changes colors. I mean, I think she should have some bracelets and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, I think $75 you're buying, because you're buying into the Barbie signature brand. Underwhelming. But I do really like that she's articulated. I think she is very pretty. Um, you know, granted, I have a little bit of a bias because I'm very into fantasy creatures in that realm. Um, and, you know, I, I like the fact that we're getting some nice, fun, colorful, you know, unicorn and mermaid dolls that aren't just purely in, you know, the play lines because those tend to be way too basic for adult collectors, um, you know, depending on the release, of course. But, you know, it's funny because I actually think that the Mermaid Enchantress, they stepped up the detail from the Unicorn Goddess doll because she was sorely lacking in articulation, um, even though I did think she was pretty, but this one was actually very articulated. Um, I would say she's maybe more detailed as well. Um, you know, she has a lot of accessories. She has, you know, dangly earrings, which by the way, be careful with her earrings because the dangly clam piece on the hook, um, it can literally just pop right out it's just like hooked on there so ours fell off for a hot second so be careful about that if you do purchase her when we start talking about price points you know it's really hard because she's half a price when you take your toy <laughs> yeah and it's I mean I don't know because we've obviously been purchasing a lot of like the very expensive high-end you know like adult collector dolls that here on toy chat and I mean also looking back like we reviewed the Barbie signature um, Wonder Woman doll and that was like $50. <laughs> and I feel like she was so much less detailed than this. Um, so 
Personally, I'm wanting to say I feel like she's slightly overpriced, but I don't think she's like heinously overpriced. I'm um, given, you know, for what it is you get. I think um, it's really cool that she's articulated. I think she's colorful. She's fun. Um, as I mentioned earlier, my main gripe is I wish they'd done her fin a bit differently. I actually would go as far as to say I feel like her her fin is maybe the only thing about her that looks like on the cheaper side and like they didn't really invest as much into it as they should have. Um, I do think something like, I don't know, I almost feel like just because she already has that gigantic hairpiece and the earrings and the breastplate, I feel like a necklace would have been overkill. Um, bracelets might have been cute on her, but... Um, her arm just looks bare. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, she has those little, you know, the little pink sleeves, which I do think are cute, but... Um, from the standpoint, you know, speaking as someone who doesn't collect very many Barbies, um, I think she's quite nice. I think if you're a big Barbie fan and you're into mermaids, you should definitely jump on this one because, um, you know, she's certainly a step above the Playline mermaid dolls and, you know, the older one that we've been talking about and there's even, there, there have been a couple, you know, um, nicer mermaid barbies in the past but you know the one in particular we were talking about from 2012 is like long gone and selling for hundreds of dollars on ebay now so um i would say this is a nice doll to invest in if you're into fantasy creatures and barbie thank you for joining us for our review of barbie signature mermaid enchantress make sure to let us know what you guys think of her in the comments below let us know what you'd like to see next on our channel. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, you can also check out our previous Barbie videos. I will link the playlist in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.